As long as your teammates don't pose that puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, oh, it's so frustrating. But I mean, you, you can do the puzzle for them. I mean, you could. Yeah. What's the fun in that though? I've got overkill right there. Mummy is gone. That's it. We've won. That was closer Again. than I would have thought, actually. Well, that's because it's it's the mummy. You know what my problem is with this game? I, actually, I don't have a problem with this game. This game's great. But the mummy will destroy you. Not because the mummy's hard, but because... So, let me back up here. We love this game. And to us, and to a lot of people that we've played with, it kind of... It, it's almost a game that can replace Pandemic as the the introduction to co-op games. Not for us. No. I mean, we love Pandemic because yeah. we love the theme Can't of Pandemic. Can't be replaced. But this game is great. It's it's lighter than Pandemic. It's it's easier to digest than Pandemic. The mechanics are just so straightforward on it. Right. I don't know if you've ever played Tiny Epic Zombies, anyone? But that's what this reminds me of. I mean, other than the co-op being sort of Pandemic because that's what everyone has played, Tiny Epic Zombies has different quests that you do as you're playing mm -hmm. together. And so this really is what that reminds me of with a slightly different skin. There's no zombies in this. But the thing with this one, one of the reasons I like it better as an introductory co-op game is because it's easy to create a line in the sand for alpha gaming. What we try to do is let each person absolutely control their turn from selecting their own items. You know, we don't tell us, oh, you should use this item, you should use that item. We, we try not to tell, I mean... Yeah, that can be a little painful sometimes. Yeah, but, <laughs> and it's, but we, we try to let them be masters of their own destiny within their own turn. And it's, a, it's an easy delineation. Whereas Pandemic, you know, you're looking two or three turns forward. Not that you're not looking two or three turns forward here, but it's much easier to do here. Now with The Mummy, it's it's that little number number sliding puzzle. And that's the most difficult part of letting people control their own destiny because some people just aren't good at those puzzles. Or I'm... some people are good at puzzles and screw it up anyway, as you did in this game. Did you randomize this? Mm -hmm. This is the worst possible thing. Three. Oh. Oh, well. I already moved it. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's that's one of my least favorite puzzle type things. <laughs> you know, and it, it's, it's simple, you know, but, you know, if you're in the heat of the moment or you're just not focusing on that and then you panic because you don't want to hold up the game and then you mess up the puzzle, you... you yeah. Now we just played a two player game, but if you're playing three or four or five and not everybody is really good at the, that simple kids puzzle there. Just don't look. Yeah. Don't look <laughs> and it, it's going to destroy you because, well, one, you've got the timer. That's the deck. Okay. So, you know, we just finished this one. We had six turns left. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then his special power turns those scarabs over so you can't move them. I mean, that, that just eats up all your turns. Now, I looked online to see what other people were thinking as the hardest monster to fight, mm -hmm. and I, it was the Invisible Man. Almost oh, really? Almost unanimously, people said it was the Invisible Man. I mean, this is our first time playing with the Invisible Man. Mm -hmm. I didn't think he was challenging. However, I think I had a huge advantage in that I was the Explorer, and the Explorer lets you just basically hop any place you want to be. Yeah. And I think if we had not been the Explorer, that would be very frustrating because he just goes and takes all your items. Yeah, but you moved around like he does, you know, because mm -hmm. he can just go anywhere. His card lets him go to the highest, uh, the highest number of items, and then just gets rid of the items. I don't know. He was pretty straightforward. Like, right. I, I, we never had a problem of not having those items on the board. I don't I don't see the difficulty with the Invisible Man. Yeah, I, I think, though, it would have been different if I hadn't been the Explorer. Like, we had a great team, so we just randomly select our characters. I got Like the you're supposed to. I mean, right. that, that's the rules. Right. Oops. I don't know. So I got the Explorer, and he got the Mayor. Yeah. So I can hop all over the place, and he gets to roll around, but he gets... Um, five actions and I only get three so it sort of balances out like he gets to do more things whereas like I was looking for the evidence I hopped over here grabbed that took it to the precinct and so I was just bouncing around and so I think that was pretty easy I think for me the one that's the hardest is Frankenstein and the Bride of Frankenstein because yeah it's 
Yeah, because it's an extra monster on the board. Right. If you're only planning on playing with three monsters, all of a sudden you get Bride and Frankenstein, and you've got four monsters on the board that you have to contend with. Right. But going back to the mummy, it's not that he's hard. He's a very simple one. In fact, if you if you gauge the difficulty of the monsters based on their frenzy rank, he's number two. It's that puzzle. It's that simplistic puzzle that just throws a wrench into everything and it wastes your turn. Again, he's not hard. As long as your teammates don't pose that puzzle. <laughs> it's just, ah, oh, it's so frustrating. But I mean, you can, you can do the puzzle for them. I mean, you could. Yeah. What's fun in that though? I don't know. I mean, like, like he said, this is a great game. I mean, it's sort of a mix of pandemic and tiny epic zombies, but it's a lot lighter. Like it's a lot more accessible. It's easier to learn. So I think this is, it's a great game. It's fun. Yeah, it's funny. This this game is made by Prospero Hall. Um, apparently, they make a bunch of games that we... They make a bunch of our favorite games. Um, they made, they designed Villainous. Mm, okay. Uh, they designed Bob Ross. We've done Game Breakers game. on both yeah. of those. Now, this is the third Game Breaker that we've done for Prospero Hall. And in each one of them, it, it's not that we don't like the games. We love playing the games. There's just that one little wrench in there that can really mess things up. But if you don't go that route, like Villainous, you know, just don't play Prince John. This one, you know, the mummy, just be careful with the mummy. <laughs> so if you haven't played Horrified, this is just an outstanding game, not just because it's Halloween. I mean, oh, this yeah. happens to be Halloween. Everybody's putting out their videos for Horrified now, but this is a great game. Well, and the thing too, one of the things I really love about drafting characters and having the different monsters, I mean, it's a different game every time. So you just randomize it and it's a little bit different and it's It fun. is. It is a different game every time, but experience in the game still carries forward. Like you still, the more you play it, you can still get better at it, even though your scenarios are completely different. Mm -hmm. You know you have to protect those villagers. You get an idea of how much you have to stack up on your items, how often you're going to get hit. It, it, experience does help in playing this game, even though it's a completely randomized scenario yeah. uh, every game. And, and, and that's what's great about it, you know, like Pandemic. Pandemic, I mean, sure, the number, the cities that come up are randomized, but the game is exactly the same. Your objectives are exactly the same. But anyway, this is, if for introducing new players to co-ops, this is our new game. It's, yep. And I'm looking forward, apparently, apparently I'm looking forward to the next Prospero Hall game, whatever that may be, so. Oh, I feel like we need to find out now. I, I I'd rather be surprised. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. happy Halloween. Like and subscribe. Be awesome. Have fun. Now I have to edit this before Halloween. Please. Oh, yes. <laughs> I thought that was the plan. Okay. It is now. Be safe. <laughs>